day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going part hunting. So right now, I'm flogging it along the putty road up the way to Tamworth. I'm going to catch up with my mate Lincoln Williams. Here's his channel right here. So the plan is, hopefully I'll get to this place about the time he finishes work. I'll pick him up. Head on out to uh, a farm out that way and pick up a new pumpkin from one way that I'll be moving uh, for a new project. It's pretty exciting, you know what I'm like, new project all the time. So we're going to get that. And if it's fine enough, we're going to also stop in or at least have a look at where the dullions are dragged out of someone's farm. Um, Lincoln was the fellow that got it. So Lincoln knows the fellow I'm getting these parts off. He reckons it's near where the uh, valiant came from, so we we'll find going past here having a look. So if you can put that into the wheel, it'll be fun, it'll be fun anyway. Tamworth. So we're just in Tamworth and almost at Lincoln's house. Um, yeah, if you haven't worked it out, I'm in the Valiant. It's the first time Lincoln's seen it since he dragged it out of the paddock, or since I took delivery of it anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll see what he thinks of it. This is Lincoln's Beast. It's shiny. Compared to mine anyway. The family's a Mopar family through and through. Well I got Big Dog with me, what do you reckon mate? Oh I'm loving it. It's, it's pretty great. It's yeah. pretty great. Awesome. Just on the way to get these parts and um, I think we're going past the old farm where this car come from too, so sing out let me know. No worries. So we just picked up the model A bits and this is the property where the um, Valiant come from. It's got stuff everywhere. We just sent it to the old lady saying I'm going to show her the car, see what she thinks. So we just met the old lady and she's given us permission to have a look at these old Valiants here. She's pretty stoked to see the old one back on the road, she couldn't believe it. And this is the graveyard where mine was and it was parked right where that wheel was you can see the patch on the ground where there's no grass and apparently she bought it or her husband bought it who's passed away as a spares car years and years and years ago pretty cool <laughs> Giving Big Dog a drive in the old Val. I love it. I do. Could have never sold it. <laughs> Just rubbing it in. Just blew my mind. Spied to do horse 
stopped after this but other projects but you know what I'm like check out Lincoln's channel I'll put a link there'll be links all through this but um, yeah stay cool well it's time to hit the road back home I've got my loot which I'm pretty happy with and um, had an awesome time with the Williams family thanks Lincoln once again mate I had a, had a ball there great to catch up with you all again and um, yeah it's been really cool so what I just realised I haven't shown you the parts I came up for 1928 Model A um, two rubble Phaeton back section, a couple of fenders, and two rear doors. And that's um, my new beast I'm building, which is going to happen really fast. I'm just deciding on the colour. But yeah, good solid panels. Excellent. The thing that spun me out the most was going back to where the Valiant came from, and the old lady. Um, she could not believe it was the same car. And when she did, she just spun out. She was so impressed, which, you know, for me, that was unreal. So, yeah, that was really cool. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned, be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hang around for the new um, Model A build because that's going to happen really quick. I do have a deadline, and um, I won't go into why right now. But I need to get that finished as soon as I can. So, that's going to happen. Couple more bits I've got to get, a couple of bits I've got to make, but I've pretty much got a complete car. So that's going to happen really fast. But anyway, I've got to hit the road. So take it easy. See ya.